We're gonna fire up your creativity and what we're excited about is a new creative concept for quilters. Just out, a darling line of fabric and patterns for putting numbers, letters, and punctuation of all kinds on quilts and in home decor, this back to school spelling bee line spells C O O L in the quilter circle, and it's got a great Utah connection. I like Chris that. Thurgood is here <laughs> to explain and share. See what I did there? Good, yeah. C O O L. Nice job. You're very cool, Chris. That's and this right. could not be Thank cuter. You. So this is the cutest. It is. So help me appreciate how this is different than what we've seen in the past. Okay. Well, first of all, this is from designer Lori Holt, who happens to be a Utah native. So we're very proud of that. And she designs fabric for Riley Blake. Uh, fabrics. So um, all of these fabrics are, you know, from her that she's designed and she's come out with the cutest book called Spelling Bee. There it is. So it is a great way to be able to use uh, typography in your quilts and in your quilt projects. So is that new using typography in quilts? You know, it's not necessarily new, but it's definitely making a comeback and it's definitely a way for people to express themselves even more so mm -hmm. um, than ever before. So you can, you know, spell out anything you want. She has great directions on how to uh, put these blocks together and have a lot of fun. Now, you know, sometimes we think, oh, a, a whole quilt, that's going to be overwhelming to yeah. me. But the thing I love about this book in particular is that she has so many great ideas on smaller projects you can do. If you're not going to make a whole entire quilt, think about some of these smaller blocks that you can make into miniature quilts. So before we get into some of the smaller projects, yeah. are these are these blocked or appliqued? Or, or what? That's the a great question. These are not appliqued. These are all pieced. Okay. So you're cutting up little pieces of fabric and sewing them together. Okay. All yeah. right. So some of those smaller projects that you mentioned would look like what? Okay. Well, let's take a look right over here. We just put them on a clipboard. So cute. the bumblebee, which is a cute little block. This is darling. Um, you know, a sewing machine. Uh, she's got all sorts of animals and, and different um, objects that you might see in your home. So that is a really fun way to display a quilt, even just on a clipboard, which is kind of a, has a vintage feel to it, doesn't it? Uh -huh, absolutely. Okay. So then, you know, you've got these other blocks that are just so small, but so cute. These are adorable. I mean, you could use them as hot pads if you wanted to, as table toppers. I mean, you name it. There are so many, many ideas you can do with it. Okay. Cute. Now, besides just the, the block, like a regular block of, you know, an object per se, mm -hmm. let's talk about how she uses the letters in in okay. the blocks, okay? So super fun. Here is, okay, we're going with the hashtag that is so trendy right now. <laughs> How about hashtag awesome? Sure thing. <laughs> you know, put that in a child's room and then make them feel pretty darn good, right? So this would serve as kind of a banner of sorts or a quilt yeah, runner. Yeah, exactly. It's a quilt runner or something to hang over the bed or above the bed. Um, how about 100% cute? That's Pretty darn cute. That is 100% uh, adorable, is. I have to I agree. Love it. And then just the alphabet application is fun, just yeah. the ABC basics. Yeah, exactly, all of the basics, the numbers. But, you know, how many times does a child have kind of a different name and you can never find that souvenir? Growing with up, there was name? always Brooke without an E. Exactly. It got more popular, I think, as I got older, <laughs> but I could never find the Disneyland yeah. keychain that had Brooke with an E. That's exactly right. Yeah. And so just think about it. You can, you know, create your own banner, you know, depending on your child's name. So let's say we have the name Sammy, uh -huh. which, you know, might not be the easiest um Name to find at the souvenir store. Especially when it's spelled S-A-M-I-E. Exactly. But, but look at this. This is adorable. Isn't that cute? So you could, you know, just sew out all the different letters of the alphabet or choose your child's name or whatever you want to do. If you want to do a cute banner that says, um, happy birthday, you could do that. I was going to say, know. just to have names for every birthday in your yeah. family would yeah. be super cute to pull those out annually mm -hmm. and use that as a way to celebrate in your home. Absolutely. You mentioned numbers and I'm seeing over okay. your left hand shoulder yes, a cute number block that there. Yes, cute? Uh-huh. Yeah, really, really fun. Um, you know, celebrate a child's birthday with a number, celebrate an anniversary, do, um, just have the cute mini quilt that has the numbers from one to nine. I mean, the possibilities really are just endless. They're just so much fun. And the quilt right behind us, You Are My Sunshine. I mean, how many of us remember singing that to our little ones, you know, oh, growing up? Oh, I sing up? it daily. Yes, exactly. So wouldn't that be sweet to have hanging in their room? So just so many fun ideas to do with smaller blocks, larger blocks, and have a great time. We saw this earlier, but I think it's worth a second look, yes. the way that they've combined the letters, or you've combined the letters right. with the imagery. I mean, yeah. 
that's so sweet. So by, yeah. you know, we see different, uh, a boat by B, whatever, or exactly. a car by C. That's super clever. It really is. And just really fun, bright, vibrant fabrics to go with it. And a great background fabric, too, that's, you know, a little busy, but it's still very subtle and a lot of fun. What would be so. the difficulty level, Chris, in piecing these letters together? You know, the nice thing is the directions in the book are very, very good. You know, um, beginner, maybe a little bit past a beginner. Okay. okay. So not very, very beginning. But, you know, there are tools out there to help you with it. This is a great little design board. And when you're putting all of these little pieces together, it's so nice to be able to have this. It has a flannel backing. Just to map it out. So that you can map it out before you sew it, because sometimes that's half the battle, uh -huh. is trying to figure out how it's going to look. So map it out. Use these great little, uh, we call these alphabeties, to help us organize our block. Clever. And then we start sewing them together. Okay, well, okay. it's a new fun concept to celebrate. Yes. And the book is called Spelling Bee. Spelling Bee, Out yes. now by a local designer, yes. which we love. Thanks so yes, much for turning welcome. our attention to it. And hey, you're yes. always great about circling girlfriends up around quilts. And now you're yes. circling up ladies in a, in a unique way. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We are so excited. Um, October 14th coming up. Uh -huh. uh, we are having a girlfriend's day out bus tour. So we have so many ladies who say, oh, I would love to go to your Logan store. Or I'd love to see your Midway shop. And so we are taking a luxury bus, bus tour from Logan to Midway and from Midway to Logan. Oh my it's going to be a blast. It's a road so. trip of the very best kind. That's right. Absolutely. And that's happening in October? October 14th. Okay. And we are giving away two tickets to Studio 5 viewers for that. That's what we're so excited so, to announce. Yes, Thank you so much, definitely. Chris. We'll take that forward. Grab your girlfriend. Studio 5 will get you there for free, as Chris mentioned. Enter to win two tickets to the Girlfriend's Day Out bus tour. It's a $400 value and a great way to enjoy a beautiful fall day. So hit the Studio 5 Facebook page to enter and good luck. Good luck, good luck.